everyone has their greatest hits. And how can we forget about our epic battle against Sai on his TT bike? Going flat out, working as a team, everyone giving it their all, he was eventually toppled, but not without great sacrifice. He hasn't let us live that down and, well, you all thought it was over, but we're back. And this time, I've got a plan. A tandem bicycle, a curious contraption, a bike built for two. But why would you ride a bike like this? Well, there are a number of reasons. They're said to be faster than a regular bike, but they're also more sociable, fun, and they allow two riders to ride together of completely different fitness levels. At least you can't get dropped on this one, Ollie. Shut up, that's not, that's not the, well, technically that's true. You can't get dropped on a tandem, but I want to find out if in fact they are faster than a regular bicycle, and if so, by how much. So we've come to a racetrack for a race. Just try not to fall off the back, mate. Oh God, it's going like a train. I don't think they're having it as easy as they thought they would. You can see him up ahead, we're catching him. I'm not finished yet. Oh God. On Team Tandem, we have myself and GCN Plus presenter, Jonathan Schubert, who just so happens to hold the record for the point-to-point -point 100 mile time trial. Yes, I think you'll agree. I've chosen my teammate rather well. On Team Solo Bike, we have the Jolly Green Giant, all six foot eight inches of the former Irish national champion, Connor Dunn. Recently retired professional Connor is a monster. He has competed in the world's hardest and biggest bike races and is an absolute machine. Were I on a normal bike, he'd eat me for breakfast, but instead of his normal 44 Weetabix and a pint of Guinness. Oi! Heard that. While those two are bickering over there, Ollie asked me what the best way was not to get dropped when you're out riding with your mates. And I said, why not come and have a go on my racing tandem, Ollie? So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this bike. It's quite special, it's a custom build. It's made from Reynolds 853 steel. But because of the length of something like this, you're gonna get an awful lot of torsion and flex. So I've actually had this built with three down tubes to add that stiffness to the bike. The rear top tube is so long that it's 82 centimeters. That's the longest tube that Reynolds manufactured. And to put that into perspective, Connor's six foot eight and his top tube on his bike would be 62 centimeters. And what that means is that Ollie can really stretch out, get a nice flat back behind me when I'm on the front. The drivetrain is also quite unique. It's not a tandem specific chain set, which would have the connecting chain on the left-hand side. Instead, I've used standard road chain sets, which makes it a bit more aerodynamic. We're only using one chain ring to connect to the sprockets at the back, and the other two are joined together. We've got some nice aero handlebars on here, and for Ollie on the back, so he can keep his arms tucked in behind me, I've cut down some flat handlebars, nice and narrow. I think if we're gonna beat Connor on any bike, then I think this is the one we're gonna have to do it on. Now, in theory, this should be faster than Connor because it's all about aerodynamics and frontal area. And frontal area of our tandem is roughly the same as just one bike on its own. But with two riders, we've got double the power. Well, more like one and a half times the power. All right, fair. But with that extra power, without drastically increasing the frontal area, we should be able to go much faster than a single bike on its own. Although there aren't, it's not totally straightforward, there are a few downsides, such as the fact that the circuit we're on today, Landau, has some technical corners. And, and, I mean, I've not ridden one before, but I'm guessing it's not gonna be as, as nimble through the, through the tight stuff. Also, the drivetrain, we have to pedal at the exact same rate as well, also, I was on the beers last night. Uh, my whoop score's terrible today. Might be quicker if you're on clip, Ollie. Yeah. Anyway, enough excuses. It's time to get racing, you two. But before we get started, let's get a poll going in the GCN app. Who do you think's gonna win five laps of the Landau circuit? Ollie and John on the tandem? Or the Jolly Green Giant and all his friends? Did you ride this? <laughs> Just because I've got size 48 feet. Anyway, you count me in. All right, I'll give you beeps. Yeah. Right. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. Good clipping. Straight off the gun, I need to get some speed through these bends. Oh. 
This is gonna be my advantage in this race because they are not the most agile. There is a horrible, horrible tailwind on the back straight on this circuit. And I'm gonna be suffering. Got about half a circuit, third of a circuit on them. Right, coming up 10 seconds, John. Don't, don't crash, yeah? Don't fart either. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, feel the legs already. Oh God, it's going like a train. Starting to pick up some speed. I need to rail this corner now. Into the headwind section now. But it doesn't really feel like I'm riding in a headwind, to be honest. <laughs> Tailwind, home straight. This is my advantage now. I don't think they're having it as easy as they thought they would. On the uphill section now, but We've got a tailwind. We're doing 30 miles an hour. It's rapid being on the back of a tandem, but it's a bit disconcerting. You have to put full faith in the pilot when you're the, the rear admiral. Ah, come on, Connor. Help to speed. Kind of feels like the game could be up, but I'm not finished yet. A lap and a half to go. Oh, God. You can see him up ahead, we're catching him. Come on, Ali, go. Drill it! Go! They're getting closer. I feel them breathing down my neck. That was brutal. They're breathing down my neck the whole, whole way. Oh, that wasn't long enough. Oh, fair play. Fair play. That was impressive. Yeah, hold on chaps. Oh. Well, how did it feel? Oh, scary. It's scary riding that, but it's rapid. We didn't catch you, but we definitely closed, closed the gap. It was, it was coming, wasn't it? I was feeling confident at the start, but at the halfway point, I could see you really, really starting to close on me. I was just trying to do everything I could through these chicanes because I knew you were slow through there. Oh, but obviously, not enough. Fair play for hanging on on the back there, Ollie. Let's get the result. <laughs> not getting dropped. Yeah, let's get the result, yeah. Fair play for not getting <laughs> dropped. Let's get the result anyway. Oh, need a water. Right, we've got the results. They're in. So Connor, you managed five laps of the circuit in 9.57. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, the power, the power of that, the speed. Yeah, quite good, that, yeah, good work. We did it in 9.36. Yes. <laughs> Unlucky. 20 seconds faster. <laughs> yeah, this thing flies. I was so, oh, it's amazing, it's rapid. I was railing those corners. Yeah, we weren't, but we're just rapid on the straights. It's, I'm so glad that Bob left the Jackson 5 and concentrated on making bites because to make this possible. Thanks. I did over 400 watts around there. <laughs> <laughs> and you beat me. I'm not happy about this. I'm calling a rematch. Yeah? Yeah, we, we do need to do a rematch. Yeah? We need to do this again. I'm getting a friend involved. A reinforcement? Yeah, yeah, I'm bringing, I'm, bringing, I'm bringing someone strong. Two versus tandem? Yeah, I'm wiping that smile off your smug face. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this. Finally, I've won a race on, uh, on GCN. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see a rematch, two versus tandem, well, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And um, I'll see you later. Cheers, John. Nice work, buddy. Oh, yes.